This is box number five of the Crunch Labs Hack Pack, Laser Tech. But when you get hit, you lose your vision. You will build the gun and goggles with a microcontroller nestled in the gun, and to play right away, it even comes with two sets. While they may not be as polished as other laser tag sets are out of the box, you can add whatever you want to your own hack pack sets and even modify the game mechanics to your own desire. These laser tag sets can't compete with that. Before we get to some featured hacks, and you'll want to see these, let's talk about the build with some interesting quirks and the two stock codes available that both add hardware, like the LED strip you can grab from other builds. The electronic portion of the build is quite simple when connecting to the Arduino, but getting some of the components to stay where they are supposed to can be a bit tricky. The IR LED transmitter and the trigger button look like they should snap into place, but don't always do that. I found that bending the wires in the direction of the hole helps the components stay in place while you secure the top half to lock them in. The polarized film lenses were another part of the build that took a while to figure out. Any lens will work in the correct position, but the lenses will only work in one orientation, which may take all six options to figure out for the bottom ones. It may take spinning them for all three hole placements and even flipping it around before you figure out the correct placement. The top ones are a bit easier with the double hold sides. The goggles should be dark when the arrows are pointing together as you build them and will become see-through once turned on. The big oversight on this build is identified when you start modifying the code and need to upload it. The USB-C port is blocked by the gun's shell. Currently, you have to pry it out using a tool like the provided screwdriver to gain access to the port. Then make sure it is seated all the way back down once uploaded. I believe there is an update in the works to correct this in the future. My suggestion for bigger projects that need repetitive testing I disassembled one of the guns and reconnected all the wires without the shell. It's easy enough to put back together with a few screws once the DIY project is ready for gameplay. The laser tag comes with two additional codes in the Crunch Labs IDE, the lights code and reload code. Both of these need an LED strip. I grabbed one from the sand garden and when you get the balance spot, you have two. To make these work, change these two lines of code. The LED pin is where you plug your signal wire into the Arduino. The default pin, pin 6, is blocked, so change it to another open pin. I picked pin number 2. I also updated the LED count to 8 for the Sand Garden LED bar. After that, upload the code to see the color of your team. You could change the color by changing your team. Using the extra green wire to plug into the three green pin options on the Arduino. When you switch teams, press the reset button to update the color from green to yellow or blue. It will create a wave pattern for your color until you are hit and then it blinks red while you are disabled. The reload code uses the same LED bar and tracks how much ammo you have. To do this, it adds a second button to reload and a haptic buzzer that is optional and buzzes when you get hit. I couldn't get the default code to work, so I tweaked it a bit by adding the ammo variable into the update lights section of code, and then changing the depleted ammo colors to red in this section. You can pick your own RGB color. Now we have the full reload code gameplay showing my ammo, and when I get shot, I lose all the ammo and must reload to start over. The reload sequence is a bit slow, so you might want to speed it up a bit. And for the grand finale, let's check out two of the featured hacks. Besides lights, sound effects are another popular addition to laser tag guns, and this upgrade has captured that vibe perfectly. Add a sound module that can hold several sound files of your choosing and program them into your code for an unbeatable laser tag game. The next one takes it up a notch with an OLED HUD or heads up display tracking your health, lives, and other fun new game mechanics. Both of these featured hacks provide details on how to reproduce these projects on your own laser tag sets. It's now built, time to play. When you are ready to engineer your own new game style, check out this video that walks through the base code to understand how it all works and how to make your own improvements.